Hey, how's it going guys? Shubhra here. I went to OnePlus Five Pop Up event and I was pretty late. But anyway, leave that. The booth had several phones and people were totally into it. And in the opposite side was the booth to buy the OnePlus Five. And yep, there were quite a few people standing there to buy the phone. Mostly, I guess, you know what, it's the first time to buy the phone, otherwise you have to wait in some other line, I guess. Then I went to see whether there are any OnePlus Five left to free for me to check it out when all the people are gone. And guess what? No, it wasn't. But I, after asking someone, I got one. My first impression on the OnePlus 5 was pretty surprising. It felt promising while holding. The back texture of the device was smooth and the design is catchy, but the front end of the device looks similar to OnePlus 3T a bit, to me at least. The display is 5.5 inch. The fingerprint sensor is placed at the bottom of the screen and also acts as home button, but doesn't press. The display is 5.5 inch AMOLED display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection. The display is 1080p, not 4K, just keep in mind. If you did watch the OnePlus i event, you would have seen the camera played a major role in that. At top, you have 16MP front-facing camera with has f2.2 aperture and if you want to record yourself in a 2160p video, I guess you can do that. For the time I tested the phone and the front camera seemed good and the rear camera now has two lenses, one with 16MP and the second with 20MP telephoto lens. In camera app you will see large amount of options available like portrait mode which blurs the background and focuses on subject like a person standing in a beach. Pro mode where you can change ISO, white balance and more. You can do other things like panorama, slow motion and there were a few more options also. OnePlus i runs on octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. There are two variants available, one with 64GB and 128GB, 6GB RAM and 8GB RAM. If you want to shoot videos in 4K, go ahead, you have good storage available for that. For the time I tested it, the phone was showing smooth performance with not much lag. It comes with a decent 3300mAh battery with a dash charge, which OnePlus states as a day's power in half an hour. OnePlus 5 runs customized Oxygen OS, which is built on top of the new Android Nougat 7.1.1, which is nearly stock Android-ish, with uh, not much of changes. If you slide to the right, you'll see Oxygen OS, a Google Now type thing. The Oxygen OS has some new features like reading mode, gaming, D&D mode, and more. Pretty much if you are a stock Android phone, you'll feel like home. Overall, the first look of the phone felt and looked good. It is light in weight and a 7.25 mm slim. So guys, those were my first impressions. I hope you enjoy them. Like, subscribe and share. And as always, hashtag thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be happy and stay positive.